As you can tell, my school trip didn't go so well. If you'd like to know how all this happened, watch the rest of the video. Just... <laughs> another week, another trip. Yes. <laughs> We're going to some place to stand in a river and do like a river study. <laughs> I can't even remember where we're supposed to go, so. <laughs> the thing is, I just don't think this video is gonna be as good as the Tato Park one, because like the Tato Park, like, it's a park at least, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I don't know how this video is gonna go, because it's uh, 18 past seven, and I have to be at school mad early. I have to be at school for like quarter past eight, so. E. Hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, she's locking me up! She's not going to the geography trip, so she has to go to school. So she, so she has a full day of school ahead of her. <laughs> full day of school. Ah. Wow, another roll. Can't wait for it to get squished in my <laughs> bag and I can't... My mate Robert was on holidays when we went to Tato Park. That's why he wasn't in the video. But he's back now, so here he is. <laughs> in man's back. Robert Kirk is going on. Oh, yeah. Fella keeps asking for a shower even though he nearly got me camera confiscated <laughs> and, 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 and you don't deserve one <laughs> It's bus time, baby Did I just bring spare socks out? That just me <laughs> So I need to spare socks So you don't bring spare socks? <laughs> I'm actually the only one that brought spare socks Oh yeah, we're on the bus now <laughs> oh, Of course I am already The disappointment is just like ah. They got the camera again. Because now I'm gonna be exploited for money. Come in, come in. Seatbelt is restricted. Oh man. Pay for all of you. Jones, the seatbelt is restricting me. Take all of them. Their seatbelt is restricting me. Liam's in a bit, man. Man, I'll do what you're telling them. I broke him up, I broke his head up as well. a bad way. If you couldn't tell already, <laughs> this fella's name is Liam and we'll talk more about him in a bit. Marcella, you're not sweating, bro. <laughs> Fella's wearing about 50 jackets. Man, I'm sweating, I'm only wearing a jumper. <laughs> I'm just sweating. This bus has LED lights and all. What the f? All these little blue lights. Let's have a go this bus. Fella's knocked out. Change. Okay, Jack, when you see this, please don't come raging at me. Liam asked me to keep it in, okay? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I can't keep that. <laughs> well, can <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're her. Does this thing look like a dumbbell? Look at that. A dumbbell in the sink. Clean your hands, boy. <laughs> Clean them. This is when everything went to. Of course, the first video I've made since I'm monetized, and I can't even do that properly. I can't even make a video properly now that I'm monetized. So basically, we were going out to Kipur, I think that's the place, and we were going out there to do like a, a study on rivers and that. And yeah, I brought my camera, I brought my phone. When we actually got there, I just didn't record at all. We did this little PowerPoint presentation thing. The, there was a girl there, she had a power, she had a presentation behind her. She's just going over that. I fell asleep like four or five times. Teacher beside me had to wake me up and nudge on me and, and tell me to wake up. <laughs> and then when we actually left, uh, before that on the PowerPoint, it said like you should leave your phone in here, like in the area, because like there's been cases where people have dropped their phones, phones have gone missing in the water or whatever. So just to stay on the safer side, I made the smart, but stupid decision at the same time to keep my camera and my phone in my bag. So I didn't bring my camera or phone with me. Yeah, <laughs> because like, look at this, like, check this out. <laughs> These pockets aren't exactly the deepest of pockets. And just to be on the safer side, because I am a sleeping bag. I really do like daydream and just like make a lot of mistakes. So I didn't want to lose my phone or my camera. Because imagine I'm doing a little bit in the river, I'm just there chilling in the river, and then I just jump up or something and then my phone falls out and then it drops. I, I overthink a lot, but just like, if I lost my phone, I would've been like kicking myself. I would've been so off obviously, because I use my phone a lot, obviously, just like anyone would. But I think what I will do, and also it'll probably help the video get to 10 minutes, to be honest, because I'm monetized now, so kinda have to help my videos get to 10 minutes. I'm gonna tell you the story of what happened and everything. So, she tells us that we should go out and get our wellies. Now, oh my God. If you saw the wellies that they had there, I wish I could have recorded it. Oh my God. They had all, they had wedgies 
wedgies. <laughs> they had wool wear. They had wellies in all shapes and sizes. Big wellies. There was kind of like medium. And then there was just like proper overall wellies. Like this fella Craig. Like he had like like he had a thing here, he had like straps there, and then he had, and his wellies went all the way down there. And man, it was the funniest thing ever. The wellies they had there, man. And also some of them would fold over. So imagine a wellie, right? Straight on. And then it just fold. It, and then like it fold on itself and it looked mad weird and there was a lot of weird wellies like that man and also people are telling me that it probably would have been easier to record this time because the teacher in the last school trip video she didn't come this time and she was the strict teacher so uh, two completely different teachers this time so honestly i could have recorded but the risk of my camera getting dropped in the water because i'm a handy i curse a lot i don't know about bleeping it though <laughs> We got our wellies on and then we just get walking. We're on a hike. And when I tell you this is the dodgiest path you could walk, man, honestly. Muck everywhere. And this is kinda deep as well. And there's rocks bumping and chumping. They're just big big rocks, right? And then they're just in your way and you just pure have to do a lot of Prince of Persia just to get past them. So it's like you're walking and then there's just like a rock there thing might cut you up but this fella's name is liam and we'll talk more about him in a bit the person i feel bad for the most was liam because liam had a boot on Man, I feel <laughs> you fell in the <laughs> like this fella was injured and he had crutches as well so it was way more difficult for liam to have to get through all this stuff than it was for us it was bad enough for us because like this genuinely was a dodgy path there was times where like i nearly fell this was like not your normal path this was really really rocky <clears throat> so i can't imagine what liam had to go through fella probably had to do a lot of like hopping and scooping over it gets even worse for liam but just like we'll explain so we're going down this dodgy weird thing we're kind of behind because like liam is with us so like he's kind of slowing us down but at the same time we want to talk to him because we don't want to leave him out because i'll be sick out so we're walking with liam and uh the teacher is just like head and all these other groups are just head we are so behind and so like i start walking a bit forward because these are just proper behind obviously like keeping liam company because like he's on crutches he doesn't exactly have 99 pace i go up a bit myself and this is probably gonna sound cringe but the woman in my group she gave me a meter stick and she also gave my mate tight like this big hiking bag and so i had this mirror stick in my hand i was walking through this thing and the view was the view was kind of mad like to the right of me it was just like it was some nice scenery i'm not gonna lie to you this is probably gonna sound cringe but like it was so relaxing just walking down there on my own i'm not gonna lie it felt pretty good just walking looking around I don't know, I felt like I was in The Last of Us or something. I felt like I was in some open world game, just like looking around and exploring. It was actually mad, mad. It was mad chill, you know? Good for the head. So I just had to mention that. So I'm here having this life changing walk, and uh, I turn behind me and I see that our Liam and all them are proper far back. Like they are back. And then in front of me is my teacher, and she, and I was just talking to her, saying, like, yo, these are kind of behind. She was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm walking like close to the teacher and then those are still behind us and we all get to this one point We get kind of close to the place where we're doing the river thing where we stayed most of the time and When I kind of thought the river would be a bit bigger like it did get deep at points But just like I really thought it'd be a lot worse than it actually was so when we got there the walk was dodgy out Oh lord <laughs> It kind of did a lot of bends honestly. It was like it was like a meander walk. It did a lot of bendies I was like, What the f yeah, it was not it was not good. So it was rough out for us with functioning legs so imagine Liam, Liam must have been suffering and then when we actually have to cross over because we have to cross over our water to get to the other side and this water just has a lot of rocks on it it's really really rocky CC and Rocky type vibes you know what I mean that is rocky so there was no way Liam was gonna get through that well he just had to spectate us he turned around he went up took a right and he just had to look at us just do this river study I can't imagine how depressing that must have been just looking at us <laughs> I feel so bad for him man genuinely he really was just spectating fellas out of the game I crossed over the rocky river part and then the first thing we did uh, the thing I remember anyway, I don't know if it was first, but just like she was telling us in the PowerPoint room about the equipment that we need and there was these two rods, I can't remember what they're called, I think it's called like a ranging rod? 
I think if my geography teacher watches this video, she's probably gonna be cringing. Tell me, it's not a raging rod, it's deep. So we had one of them, chucked out that side yeah. of the river, walk out a little bit over to the other side, bang, smack one there. We had like measuring tape, put that over. We measured the width of the river first, and I can't remember what it was. We just did it. And then we had to like get a lot of rocks. Marcel loved it. <laughs> Every meter up until nine meters, cause that's how long the tape was. You have to put your hand down and then pick up a rock. And then the idea was the further out you go, the bigger the rocks are. I had to put my hand in it. And by the way, the water was so cold. This sh was f cold. I curse a lot. It was really cold. I thought I was gonna get like, oh man, how do you say the word? Pneumonia, there you go. Pneumonia, there you go. Yeah, I actually have to <laughs> look up a pronunciation on how to say pneumonia. <laughs> I'll save it so you can see what I had to see. Pneumonia. Okay, yeah, so, <laughs> so I thought I was gonna get pneumonia. I didn't, so I'd pick up a rock and then it slowly got bigger and bigger and bigger. I was picking up some bigger rocks, you know what I mean? These rocks are getting big. It got to the point where we just started using the meter stick to measure because like, I just, it was too cold. That was rough out. Imagine doing the ALS book of challenge with that wall. That would be like, you would just like disintegrate. You would not be okay. <laughs> uh, and then when we finally did all them, the fella that was holding the measuring tape on the opposite side, his name was Sean. And like, this whole thing just came up about- Yeah, there are. I said, I said that <laughs> Sean looks like the guy. <laughs> <laughs> who says do the roar and then everybody around me was laughing and I was like I, I was kind of confused because I wasn't trying to rip him out of it I just said the first thing that came into my head and then he got really offended and then he just started slagging me Here, here's the thing yeah he said I can't think of words to describe you and then he said two things to describe me your long lamppost so he did have words for me he said long lamppost so I told him that and then and then the boys were like oh you toasted him you toasted him I didn't mean to okay I wasn't trying to like rip him out of it because I wasn't trying to start no fights because I can't fight so I didn't I wasn't trying to rip him out of it and like you know make fun of him and you know, make a scene of him I just said he looked like the guy from do the Roar. <laughs> I wasn't doing it to be sick out though because I'm not that type of person I just said the first thing that came into my head and he took it the wrong way so after that we moved the ranging rods it was uh, vertical and then we moved it horizontal so there was one there there was one there and then there was a measuring tape you had to throw like uh, tennis balls back and forth I think or drop them into the water to measure the velocity I'm not sure okay I wasn't really paying attention I was sitting down and they were just throwing tennis balls at each other Marcel and Robert I just wish I could have recorded that because that would have been a nice clip we had to move over to a really deep river this was probably where my phone or my camera could have dropped and up i helped like get the tape around because this tape was pretty long by the way and we had to measure like the outside of this little deep thing so i was holding the tape for a bit and then i started walking out after like we were done with that and i was walking in the water and then yeah my wellies got messed up my wellies became rivers there was this like little spot that was like it was, it was kind of it was like kind of like t -t -t today junior flat rock if that makes sense it was just like a little like checkpoint for me so i went up there and then i took off my boot poured out the water and i had to do this a good three times but i was taking big ass steps because i have big ass feet i'm actually surprised they had my size in a welly because i'm a size 12 so fair play to them for having my size i went up that little checkpoint i did a little bit of a little bit of jumping no not really i just extended my long legs out i extended my long legs onto the ledge thing because there was a path there and then i just started walking up above and i was like hell yeah boys and what and what and then we had to do a bunch of measuring from one part of the path to the other part of the path we were again really close to being finished we had the tape thing and then we put one there put one there and then we measured that they just kept doing that and i just kept copying the results really <laughs> i really didn't do any work the teacher was telling us that we had to do like a drawing of uh, the river thing or whatever the top of it looked like a burger bun a bit so i just copied off what she did i just did a, little, a lot of, a lot of picasso and then after that we walked back up to get food can we get an f in the chat for uh, Tyg and Adam who did not bring lunch. I had two rolls in my bag. They were squished once again. Once again under a squish roll. <coughs> uh -huh. uh -huh. uh. Tell her didn't congratulate me when I got monitored so her whole face again blurred for the entire oh, wow. video. I'm just eating a splash. Oh, I'm drinking. <laughs>
the bus. Ha, I got no footage, yo. By the way, uh, all this had absolutely nothing to do with what I just showed you. This happened the 25th of October. You just been bamboozled. Hey, you love to see it. <laughs>